G'day, Roscoe. I just thought I'd give everyone a bit of a laugh, you know, like fair dinkum. I read this and laughed my guts out. Yes, I'm a truckie, but I have a farmer, work with silly sheep, stupid sheep. Right, here we go. People have got the wrong impression of the merino sheep. A gentle, bleating animal that gets its living without trouble to anybody. Oh, isn't that nice? And comes up every year to be shorn with a pleasant, smiling little face. Ah, <sighs> yes, it is my purpose here to put the Merino sheep in its true light. And let people really know. First, let us give him his due. No one can accuse him of being a mean and scary animal. But the truth is that he is a dangerous psychopath. <laughs> he, oh, fair dinkum, the things I've done. Fixated and extreme in his dogmatic obsession. And his one obsession is <laughs> to ruin the farmer that owns him. <sighs> With this objective, he will display a talent for getting into trouble and a knack for dying. Now, don't get me wrong. That is almost inconceivable. If a man, a mob of sheep, see a bushfire closing around them, now this is true, do they run away, which they should, out of danger? Not at all, fair dinkum. They run around and around in this massive circle, in this huge ring, till the fire burns them all up. If they are in a riverbed with a howling flood belting down the river towards them, will, will they stubbornly refuse to cross a three inches of water to save themselves? Fair dinkum, dogs may bark and men may jump up and down and scream and yell at them, but the sheep won't move. Very true. So smart, these sheep. Crap. Oh, sorry, I mean rubbish. <sighs> Fair dinkum, they will wait there till the flood comes and drowns them all. Uh, seen that. And they will be and their corpses will go down the river on their backs with their feet in the air. Seen that? Done. A mob of merinos will crawl along a road slowly enough to frustrate a snail. But let a lamb get away in a bit of rough country and a racehorse that won't catch him, I tell you. If a sheep are put into a big paddock with water in three corners of it. They will crowd into the fourth corner and they'll die of thirst. Like, they're just, what can you say? When being counted going through a gate, if a, if a scrap of bark is left on the ground, now I've seen this, in the gateway, they will refuse to step over it, eh? Like, they just stand there and look at it, like, fair dinkum. Until the dogs and men have sweated and yelled and screamed and toiled and sworn. Finally, one will gather enough courage and rush at the imaginary object because you've already kicked it out of the way, but they think it's still there, like, fair dinkum. And, but then they'll spring over nothing, like there's nothing there. About six feet, you know, like fair dinkum, in the air. And dart off, and dart, they'll just rack off into the... Yeah. The next goes... Ex, the next does exactly the same, but jumps a bit higher, like fair dinkum. Then comes a rush... And, the, and them following one another 
in the wild bounds like antelopes until one overjumps and lands on its head. Yeah. This trip up frightens those, those that are still in the yard and they stop all together and just stand there. It, it's freaky. Then the the dogging and shrieking and hustling and swearing have to be gone through all over again. This is on a red hot stinking day, mind you, with clouds of blinding dust about and wool irritating your eyes, and perhaps three or four thousand sheep, or maybe five. <laughs> Next sheep. Still to put through. The delay throws off the man who is counting. And he forgets whether he has left off at 235 sheep or was it 325? Fair dinkum, should have wrote it down. The dogs, meanwhile, have taken the first chance to slip over the fence and just rack off for a while and hide in the shade. And then and then there are loud whistles, Bluey and Rover. Finally, somebody jumps over the fence, unearths Bluey and hauls him back by the ear. Bluey sets about work, barking and healing him up again and pretends that he thoroughly enjoys it. But all the while, he is looking out for another chance to rack off. And this time, he won't be discovered any time soon. Smart dog, eh? <laughs> there is a story of a shipload of sheep that was lost because of an old ram that jumped overboard. And all the rest followed him. No doubt they did, because I have seen it. <sighs> they were proud to do it. A sheep won't go through an open gate on his own. No way. I know that. Instinctively. But he would gladly and proudly follow the leader through the red-hot portals of Hades. And it makes no difference whether the leader voluntarily or is hauled, which I have done, struggling and kicking and fighting through that gate every inch of the way. A ewe never, never knows her own lamb by sight and apparently has no sense of colour. Now, anybody listening, a ewe is a female sheep, a mother. She cannot recognise its voice half a mile off, eh, among the thousands of other voices of lambs. Apparently, exactly similar, but when she gets within five yards of it, she starts to smell all the other lambs within reach, including the black ones, though her own may be white. Wow. There is another kind of sheep. Yeah, and I know this sheep well. In Australia, and it's known as a great curse in its own way. As the Merino name is, and it is crossbreed or half Merino and half Leicestershire. The crossbreed will get through, under or over any fence, fair dinkum, you put in front of him. He is never satisfied with his owner's station, but always thinks other people's station must be better. Like the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Just ask any sheep. So he sets off to explore. He will strike a course. Say 
southeast. And so, as long as the drive pushes him, he will keep going southeast through fair income. All obstacles, rivers, fences, growing crops, and he makes a mess of that. Anything. The Merino relies on passive res resistance for his success. But the crossbreed carries the war into the enemy's camp yeah, and becomes a living curse to his owner day and night. So there is your introduction to the Merino sheep. If you are thinking you may like to go into the sheep business, consider yourself warned. If you just wanted to know about these sheep for fun, this is just the tip of the iceberg, I tell you what. All right, God bless all you mob.